So what happens to those trace carbs on the cheese, eggs, do you get used for energy or go into storage? At that level, it just gets its glycogen storage, you know. It just reduces the amount of gluconeogenesis I have to do. Simple as that. That's all it, that's all it is. Um, it's not enough to replete glycogen for my muscles. And it's too low to actually cause any activation of the Randall cycle. The percentage is just too low, you know, because if we do look at kilocalories, which is a definition of heat, but just for argument's sake, if you were to, even what I said earlier about 16 grams, That's 64 kilocalories of energy. If you'll divide that by 2,000, that's 3.2%. That's still in the low carbohydrate range. You'd still be at 10% at 10 or 15%. You'd still... Yes, so ten percent is fifty is basically fifty grams. So that's what ten percent. So ten, twelve percent. You're still within the low carbohydrate state. You will not engage the Randall cycle at at that sort of level. And there's actually people that have actually done like, you know, a certain amount of sort of carbohydrates and up to 5,000, um, you know, kilocalories of uh, saturated fat, <laughs> you know, it's like deliberately just to see what happens and lost weight. So just end up causing mitochondrial uncoupling. So it's, yeah, it's more when you start, a, start getting to higher levels where because at that level you still it's it'll actually just go into glycogen there won't be enough substrate in the bloodstream to cause an elevation of insulin so you know hormone sensitive lipase still can be activated um it's just not enough as a at that level you've got to consume quite a bit <laughs> you know we're talking about even up to 80, some people can manage that without, you know. So when you start getting into the 100, 150 onwards from there, obviously, then definitely you will engage the Randall cycle at those levels. So, uh, 